Hi, my name is Dr. Mike Bate, and in this video I'm going to show you how to cast and run a polyacrylamide gel in the Wave Maxi Vertical. Here's what you will need. Gel casting and running upstand, casting base with mat, two plain glass plates with one millimetre bonded spacers, two notched glass plates, two one millimetre 24 sample combs. Ensure that all components are clean, dry and free of any chips or cracks before making a glass plate sandwich. If running four gels instead of two, position a notched glass plate with bonded spacers over the single gel sandwich. Also use the thinner yellow clamps in the casting upstand. Unscrew the red and black screws in the upstand to release the locking mechanism allowing the green gel clamps to sit in the resting slots. With the green clamps now out of the way, carefully slide the glass plate sandwich into the upstand, lowering the glass plates until they are flush with the bottom of the side cheeks on the lab bench surface, not on the casting base. Turn the red and black screws. These will push down the green clamps to secure the gel sandwich against the gasket. Insert the dummy plate if only casting and running one gel. Pull out the cam pins from the casting base and rotate them so that they point downwards into the lab bench surface. Transfer the upstand containing glass plates to the casting base ensuring that the glass plates sit evenly on the ultra-soft silicon mat. It may be necessary to apply gentle pressure to the top of the upstand to enable the cams to locate in the holes within the upstand. Secure the upstand to the casting mat by turning the cam handles in opposite directions. By 90 degrees the cams will feel tight. The gel solution is now poured between the glass plates and the combs inserted. Typical constituents of a denaturing gel include acrylamide, trisglycine, SDS, distilled water, APS, TEMED. The standard gel formulation may vary according to the acrylamide percentage, usually higher in a resolving gel, but the constituents remain the same. Remove the combs from the polymerized gels. Align color-coded screws with red and black thumb locators in the tank. If connecting to a chiller, make sure that the cooling coil is in situ before inserting the upstand. Use the provided loading indicator as a template to position the pipette above each well during loading. After loading, replace the lid and insert the power cables into the corresponding colour-coded ports in the power supply. <laughs> 